Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I think is the most important chart in the cryptocurrency market other than the Bitcoin charts. And this chart is the Bitcoin dominance chart. Now, this chart has two uses. Now, everyone knows about the first use. That is the long-term usage, identifying trends of money flow in the cryptocurrency market, but not many people know about the second usage of this chart. In fact, no one I know, no, no analysts I've seen, no YouTubers I've seen, I've never really seen anyone use this to the same extent that I've used it, and it's allowed me to be very profitable this year. This is the short-term utility of the Bitcoin dominance chart, helping us predict exactly where Bitcoin is going on many, many occasions this year and also in the immediate short term of the current price action Bitcoin is forming, this chart tells us where Bitcoin is going to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bitcoin dominance chart is very, very important and we're going to show you why in this video. Let's get into it. Okay guys, the chart that is very important for two separate reasons we'll get into in this video, okay, is the Bitcoin dominance chart. All right, what is the Bitcoin dominance chart? Okay, we'll start with that. The Bitcoin dominance chart is a chart that displays the percentage of cryptocurrency's entire value that is in Bitcoin in relation to altcoins. So currently it's at 53%, meaning that 53% of every single dollar in cryptocurrency is in Bitcoin and the remaining 47% is in altcoins. So when this chart moves down, uh, down that means that Bitcoin is losing dominance in the market. More money is in altcoins percentage format. And when Bitcoin dominance is going upwards, that means that Bitcoin is gaining dominance in the market. More money in a percentage format is in Bitcoin in the entire cryptocurrency market. That's what the Bitcoin dominance chart is. So this chart can be used for two major things, okay? And everyone knows about the first thing, really. I mean, most experienced analysts do. I'll explain it to you anyway. And the second thing I don't think many people know about, and that's actually what makes it very important at this phase in the market cycle for Bitcoin. So the first utility of this chart, okay, is basically allowing us to understand the flows of money in cryptocurrency from Bitcoin to altcoins, and hence allowing us to position ourselves in the market in the best possible position in terms of portfolio allocation uh, to profit the maximum amount. That is a long-term utility. The second utility, which is a heavy, uh, heavily misunderstood, heavily unknown utility of this chart, is it actually predicts, okay, Bitcoin moves in the short term, okay, whether it be up or down. And it's been very, very useful over the last year. I've used it on many, many, many occasions. And I think, again, as the Bitcoin chart rides up for another move, I think it will be useful coming up in the short term as well. We'll start with the first utility and we'll expand further on the second utility going now. So starting with the first utility, the long-term utility of this chart, as I said before, uh, Bitcoin dominance displays the dominance of Bitcoin in relation to all coins. When this thing goes up, it means Bitcoin's gaining dominance. When it goes down, it means Bitcoin is losing dominance. Okay, so we, we recap, we're recapping there. We said that before. So how is this useful? Well, it's useful because at different phases in the market cycle, Bitcoin dominance does different things. We know, and you should know by now, everyone knows it seems like that Bitcoin follows a kind of cyclical theory, a four-year cycle theory, in which every four years it has a bull market, okay? And every four years it has a bear market. That's kind of how it goes, and the halving kicks off that new cycle. Uh, now, if you didn't know that, you know now. Obviously, Bitcoin bull markets and Bitcoin bear markets are big things. Uh, after the bull market comes a bear market, after the bear market comes consolidation, and after consolidation comes bull market. That's generally how it goes, okay? That's a very well-established theory, uh, not even theory, it's just, a, it's just a trend on Bitcoin. But what we see, okay, is that when we see historical bull markets on Bitcoin, for example, 2017, that was an historical bull market on Bitcoin. For example, 2021, that was a bull market on Bitcoin. When we see these big Bitcoin bull markets, okay, and cryptocurrency bull markets, we see Bitcoin dominance tank, okay? For example, in 2017, Bitcoin dominance during the bull market went down from 95% all the way to 35%, a huge drop in Bitcoin dominance. What does this tell us? It tells us that basically, during bull markets, when the entire cryptocurrency market is going up, Bitcoin loses dominance, okay? Now, the opposite is true in bear markets. During bear markets, for example, 2018 to 2019, Bitcoin dominance was rising. And during this bear market we're seeing now, okay, so, you know, 2022, 2023, Bitcoin dominance has also been rising. Now, okay, we've got a, we've got a situation here on long term where Bitcoin dominance goes down during the bull markets and Bitcoin dominance goes up during the bear markets. What is the logical explanation for this? The logical explanation is that during the bull markets, people get greedy. People want higher returns. They feel confident in the cryptocurrency market. And so they seek higher returns in altcoins, okay? So they sell their Bitcoin. 
Bitcoin dominance goes down and they trade their Bitcoin for altcoins. Therefore, Bitcoin dominance decreases. That's a very, very, very simplistic, very logical uh, explanation for Bitcoin dominance dropping during the bull market. Okay. Now, the opposite occurs during a bear market. In the bear market, everything is going down. Okay. And during a bear market, altcoins go down the most. Okay. So people are flocking back to Bitcoin for safety and security. During the bear market, you see all of the greed that occurred during the bull market go away and you see people see cryptocurrency as an asset of safety, as an asset of security, as an alternative asset. And especially they start to see altcoins as way too high risk because they're dying left, right and center. So it makes a very it's simple, it's a very simple uh, you know, explanation. It makes sense perfectly as to why Bitcoin dominance goes down during a bear market and up during a bull market. Now, how is this, you know, how can we make this a utility? How can we use this to our advantage? Well, we can use it to our advantage because we can understand the market trends and in understanding the market trends and understanding that in bull markets, Bitcoin doesn't do as well as altcoins as per the Bitcoin dominance chart, we can position ourselves more heavily in altcoins during the bull market, and we can position ourselves less heavily in altcoins during the bear market. Because as per the bear market, as per Bitcoin dominance chart, Bitcoin dominance rises during the bear market. Therefore, altcoins get wrecked in relation to Bitcoin. Therefore, the market is literally telling you, invest in Bitcoin during the bear market. Don't invest in Bitcoin during the bull market. So that is the utility on a long-term basis of the Bitcoin dominance chart. Now, obviously, it's much more in-depth than that. In fact, we've created entire strategies of, of portfolio holding. If you look at my pinned YouTube channel video, it literally explains my strategy of how I'm going to make $10 million plus uh, between now and 2026 based on the Bitcoin dominance chart predominantly. Uh, and, and you know, this is why I'm bringing it up again today. But, you know, we, we, go, we go much more in-depth in Bitcoin dominance in that chart. But that is the first utility of the Bitcoin dominance chart. That is the long-term utility. Now we're going to get into the short-term utility, which actually rarely no one talks about ever. So we're going to get into that. It's groundbreaking. Let's get into it after we take a quick look at the BitGet and BingX exchange. The BingX exchange is a global non-KYC exchange. You can sign up from anywhere in the world with just an email and password. BitGet is a KYC exchange that is available anywhere in the world except for the USA and Canada. So take your pick there depending on your geographical location, depending on what you want from an exchange. They're both extremely low on trading fees. They're both exchanges that have never been hacked before. I've handpicked these exchanges. I've had various, various offers, dozens of offers from plenty of exchanges. I've handpicked these exchanges personally because I like them uh, and you'll get a 15% trading fee discount for life using my referral link. So go ahead and sign up using my referral link to these exchanges here. Help yourself, help your channel. Uh, and yeah, go ahead and do that. BitGet and BingX. Let's get back into the content. The second utility, okay, of the Bitcoin dominance chart. Again, as I said before, not many people seem to know about this. And that second utility is the short-term utility in predicting price action on Bitcoin on a short-term basis. Okay, short to medium term basis. So I'm going to draw a few market patterns here on the Bitcoin dominance chart. Like any chart, the Bitcoin dominance chart forms market patterns. Okay, for example, we had a descending channel of some sort over here. We have uh, some sort of uh, triangle, symmetrical triangle. I guess you could say bullish pennant formation uh, over here. Okay, we had another kind of channel formation over here. They don't have to be perfect. You get the gist. There are market patterns that form on this chart, some sort of descending wedge there uh, that, that very clearly are valid from a TA perspective. Uh, and what you'll see is that just like any other chart, we break these market patterns to the upside as expected. All of these market patterns here are bullish market patterns, except for this one, it was actually a bearish market pattern, it was an ascending wedge, but we broke it to the upside regardless. What you will notice, okay, is that on the dates of these breakouts, Bitcoin moved as well. I'm gonna show you guys a Bitcoin chart and overlay it onto this chart right here. So I have the Bitcoin chart overlaid onto the Bitcoin dominance chart. Bitcoin is in red. As you can see, Bitcoin moved upwards on the same day that these Bitcoin dominance breaks breakouts occurred. Okay, uh, January twenty third, January twenty twenty three. Okay, we broke out in the thirteenth on Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin. Okay, and Bitcoin over here. Bitcoin over here was a little bit later, was a little bit delayed here in June. Uh, and again, another break to the upside here on Bitcoin dominance. It led to a break upwards on Bitcoin that overall extended all the way to where we are right now. The point is, uh, in terms of upside breaks, when Bitcoin dominance breaks its market patterns to the upside, Bitcoin does the same thing. The same can be said about downside breaks. I don't need to go and draw all the same patterns. The patterns do exist. The fact of the matter is there are market patterns that occur that lead to Bitcoin dominance breakdowns that lead to Bitcoin breakdowns as well. For example, peak on Bitcoin dominance is always the peak on Bitcoin. Bottom on Bitcoin dominance is always the bottom on Bitcoin. These charts are highly correlated, highly connected. 
So what does it mean? It means, right, that we can utilize Bitcoin dominance on a short-term basis. We can identify structures on Bitcoin dominance, whether it be bullish structures, whether it be bearish, bearish structures, we can understand that Bitcoin dominance are in those structures and we can understand, okay, we can get a better grasp about when Bitcoin is going to break out and where Bitcoin is going to break out either up or down. Because if we form, for example, a bearish structure on Bitcoin dominance, if we form a descending triangle formation on Bitcoin dominance, all right, that adds a degree of validity to bear claims about Bitcoin itself. Whereas if we form a a bullish structure on Bitcoin dominance. We form a bullish descending wedge formation on Bitcoin dominance. That adds validity to a bullish case on Bitcoin for short term. Not only does it give us a better time frame about when Bitcoin is going to break out, but it also gives us a supporting evidence for the Bitcoin chart itself. When Bitcoin perhaps is looking a little bit unclear, we can start to look to Bitcoin dominance. That's exactly what we did on multiple occasions here. For example, back here, uh, in May 2023, we were seeing extensive consolidation on Bitcoin, extensive south and downside price action on Bitcoin. But we saw that this kind of, uh, you know, I guess you could say bullish pennant formation was compressing so massively that Bitcoin had to make a move soon. Not many people knew that, but we were able to predict that. We knew it had to make a move soon. We knew that the structure was bullish. We knew, in, you know, at the same time, Bitcoin was on support uh, and we knew that this is a bullish formation here on Bitcoin dominance. It was based on Bitcoin dominance that we were able to predict that Bitcoin was going to break upwards here. And when Bitcoin dominance broke upwards, Bitcoin followed. Uh, shortly after you know so bitcoin dominance although it's not a perfect correlation it's very very strong correlation and it very much uh, helps us predict what's going to happen with bitcoin and what we're seeing right now this very moment is another example of this it happens over and over again we have if we flip to four hourly chart on bitcoin dominance in fact let's go four hourly chart bitcoin dominance right here we'll keep the bitcoin chart overlaid sure no problem let's go logarithmic so we can move around the screen okay as we can see bitcoin dominance chart overlaid on to uh, the Bitcoin chart or Bitcoin chart overlaid into Bitcoin dominance, you can see that Bitcoin is going upwards, right? And Bitcoin dominance is going downwards. But overall, right, we're still, for, so that means that altcoins are actually gaining dominance slightly in this in this upwards trend, probably because Bitcoin has exhausted itself after a move, but that's a separate topic. The point is we are forming some sort of channel formation, some sort of descending channel formation, as you can see on Bitcoin dominance. And right now, if you look at short-term TI on Bitcoin, the short-term TI on Bitcoin is a little bit up in the air. We don't actually really know what's going to happen on short-term. In fact, it's looking like we're going to correct downwards. But the Bitcoin dominance chart shows us that eventually, yeah, we can correct downwards. Yeah, we can move downwards on Bitcoin dominance in this, in this channel. And we can move downwards on Bitcoin. We can correct on Bitcoin. But eventually, given the fact that this market structure is bullish, it is likely that Bitcoin and Bitcoin dominance breaks to the upside. That's an example of the short-term utility of the Bitcoin dominance chart. And that is something that not many people at all I see in this market talk about at all. And I, I actually don't see anyone really utilize it to their advantage like I have utilized it to my advantage throughout the entire last year and a half since I've known about this trend. So uh, to clarify, to summarize the points, there is two points of utility of the Bitcoin dominance chart, one of which is long-term utility, uh, helping us understand the flows between Bitcoin and altcoins in terms of money flows between Bitcoin and altcoins and helping us position ourselves in the market in the most effective way possible, in the most profitable way possible. That is the first utility, long-term utility. And the second utility is the short-term utility, identifying market patterns on Bitcoin dominance uh, at, to create supporting evidence for cases on Bitcoin to help us understand when Bitcoin is going to break out, what direction Bitcoin is going to break out. Uh, yeah, and it's it's very useful from a short-term perspective as well, which not many people, as I said, know about. So two very strong points of utility for the Bitcoin dominance chart. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. Before we end the video, check out the Telegram VIP group, okay? On Telegram, we have a VIP group. We have a group chat, as you can see, 24-7, 24 hours a day, people are typing messages in the group chat, talking about crypto, talking about their gains, talking about their losses, sharing their charts. We have the information results group with the trading results for the entire year, okay? Out right now with an 80.5% win rate. Trade altcoins on VIP with me there. All the information is in the description below in this group chat here below. Go ahead and join that and read about it. Uh, so trade altcoins, make some money on altcoins, get in there if you're interested. And then we finally have the Crypto Academy. This is the Become a Trader 10 unit course by the Crypto Academy, teaching you how to become a trader as per the title of the course name. Uh, you can read the bio on the website. You can read the unit topics on the website. You can check out the payment details through uh, our email address there. Send us an email requesting payment details and we'll get back to you with any questions you have answered as well. All that information is in the description below. VIP, BingX, BitGet, Crypto Academy. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're interested in doing so. Thanks, and I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow. Cheers.